On this week's episode of Fish Addictions TV, we're headed up to Lake Ogiebic to fish with Guy Sibley and his crew. We're up in the UP where the weather changes every five minutes and you never know what you're gonna get. We think we're gonna have some lake effect snow and it could get cold. Now the schools are closing, but that's not gonna stop us from chasing that elusive two pound perch. Stay tuned for more Fish Addictions TV. Welcome to the UP, boys. Addiction, the fact or condition of being addicted to a particular substance, thing, or activity. An addiction is not desirable. It is something that overtakes your life. But what happens when an addiction can't be stopped? An addiction is stronger than any one drug with only one cure. The cure is not rehab. It is not medication. It is not a counselor. The only cure for us is the water beneath our feet, the rod in our hands, the anticipation of that next big bite, and the camaraderie we all share. Fish Addictions TV is brought to you by Eskimo Ice Fishing Gear. Striker Ice. Go early. Go late. Go prepared. 13 Fishing. Make your own luck. Acme Tackle. And the rest of our fine sponsors. Morning, Berglund, Michigan. It is definitely a day to stay indoors. It is negative 45 degrees, whiteout conditions. You'll see a lot of snowfall today. Schools are closed in the area, including the University of Michigan. You know, talking to Guy and him inviting us up here to come fish with him, you just get super excited to catch a fish that you only see on social media. I mean, we have big fish back in Devil's Lake, but the fish here are legends. This is a really special trip for me. I grew up in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan and it's always nice to come back home. I try to get up here a couple times a year just because it's such a beautiful place with amazing people, amazing fishing, and just lots of things to do in the winter. Fish Addictions crew is coming in. I can see a giant storm coming behind them. It always makes me a little nervous when there's gonna be a 60 degree temperature change overnight. So they got in in the front. You could see it coming over the top of the hills on the lake when we were fishing. And I was pretty nervous that, you know, fishing can get tough when stuff like that happens, but we nailed it. We got on a really, really super good bite. So stay safe on the roads if you do head out, but it's also best to just stay indoors. We got set up, got the lines down there, saw a mark on the Vexlar, was lucky enough to have that perch come up and hit it. I set the hook and when my rod literally doubled over, I knew it was a good fish. There we go, fish on. Fish. Feels good. What do we got? Oh, oh it's so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> you hear stories about these fish. A little head shake going on. These fish are so cool. Oh, oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> right. What a beautiful fish. We're out on Lake Gogibic with Guy fishing monster perch. Tell us a little bit about what we're doing here. All right, we picked apart the lake this year already, and we're actually fishing a mud flat full of wigglers. So we're competing oh. with their food, but God, there's some great fish on here. You told us last night these fish just kind of swim around here just lazy. Yeah, they don't have to work for their food. I mean, it's all in front of them. So it's, it's kind of a tough game to get them to eat, but when you do, it pays off big. 
Wow. Wow. That Beautiful is, perch. That is, job, a, that is a perch. <laughs> Let's get back at it, guys. Heck yeah. Get a bite on a dead stick. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> we had fish firing off all over the place. We were chasing dead sticks. It was just an unbelievable time. We had fish on in shacks. I mean, we were running and running and running. It was an amazing day with these guys. They're biting light, but this doesn't feel like a giant, but. Man, this is here. a lot of fun. <laughs> what a breath already. Fish over there, fish over here. It's <laughs> the way it's supposed to be. Open it up. <laughs> Not a giant, but it's a start. No, he'll eat. <laughs> That's for I sure. Love perch. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get some bait, get it baited up. Stick with us for more Fish Addictions TV. Introducing the new standard in high-performance electric ice augers, the Ion X, featuring the newly designed 5 amp hour XC5 battery with 66% higher storage capacity. The Ion X powers through up to 1,600 inches of ice on a single charge. That's a lot of extra holes. The all-new cast bottom cuts fresh and frozen over holes more smoothly. So easy to use, starts every time. Flush holes clean with reverse, no more scooping. No exhaust, so I drill inside my ice house. Learn more at ioniceaugers.com. The new Acme Rattlemaster has a built-in echo chamber with a brass rattle that calls fish in. The body's solid brass too and won't bend or dull, and reflects fish attracting light all over the water column. This one-two punch of sight and sound means you drill less holes because fish come to you. Jig it, rip it, or shake it for crappie, walleye, northern salmon, or trout, and experience multi-species action with just one bait. At Eskimo, we engineer for performance on the ice. The HC40 is the first auger with an engine built for propane. Others use modified gas engines that don't take advantage of the higher octane propane. This high compression engine gives you superior power with less weight. Propane burns clean, and a propane engine starts easy. Our quantum blades can even cut through old holes. The Eskimo HC40, the high performance propane auger. Fish. Oh, good one, good one. <laughs> Guy. Get in there. <laughs> <laughs> that is a giant. <laughs> Look at that fish. What a beautiful fish. Fishing with the Fish Addiction crew this week was Epic, unbelievable. We uh, stumbled across some just giant perch this week. Looks like a good one. <laughs> Land of the giants. That's good. Take your time. <laughs> Looks like a pretty decent. Oh, Whoa, good. that's pretty nice. Yeah, look at that. All right, All right. Guys. Wow. wow. There we go. You know, what a great morning here. These fish are, I mean, they're all full of eggs and that's why they look so big. They are full of spawn right now. Another few months, they're gonna be ready to lay them. They're only getting bigger. What a beautiful fish. <laughs> so throughout the year, is this a, a constant ice fishing bite for you guys? This is what you target all year long? Yeah, we target a little bit of walleyes too, but these perch are so much fun to chase. I mean, especially the big ones. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. But we got a few more of these to throw on the ice. Good to me. <laughs> Let's put them back.
Fish, fish. Oh, I think there's one on there, Mike. Yes, sir. -y. Oh, that was kind of cool, the tip down thing. Yeah, it was. It They're nice. nice. The wind kind of jigs them a little bit and just gives it a light action. This is a little heavier rod and it's bending it. If this is a perch, it's a big one. So the tip downs that we were using are really effective today. It's our double H tip down. You can find them in a lot of the stores. It's a simple product to use and basically it's really, really sensitive. The other thing I like about them is when the wind's blowing a little bit, that rod tip just kind of jigs up and down. It just gives a real subtle presentation. Well, that's a nice little walleye. Awesome, that's a bonus. So what we're doing here, guys, is we're just off a riverbed here, right up on a mud flat. When you fish mud flats like this, we're not fishing structure areas. We're really fishing what the fish are feeding on and here they're feeding on this larva so guys got us set up with these nice active larvae where we're putting two on each hook and what we're using here tony is this Castmaster 124 ounce and really it's just a perfect perch bait but obviously the walleyes like it too yeah it's just a real subtle bait and it's got a nice little flash to it and what guy has us do is we load those up with those larvae like you said those wigglers and they're down there just kind of thumping and moving around we put one on each treble hook and it just kind of gently wiggles around with that gold flash and obviously uh, it was too much for the walleye to resist too <laughs> well let's get after it yeah Great fish, Robin. Oh, Great thank fish. you, thank you. Good go keep eater. <laughs> you bet. Guys, I'm here with Robin and Tony from Acme Tackle. And we've got an exciting announcement here at Fish Addictions. We are joining the Acme Tackle team, and I'm telling you, we're super excited about that. Mike, we're super excited too. We fished together for a long time. It's an exciting year. It's your first year with us. We love fishing with you and your team, getting all the feedback from the field, uh, watching you guys use our stuff and put it to work. It's our first year with you. It's also our first year with this product. That's the new Rattlemaster. Yes, uh, Tony, this is our Rattlemaster uh, 124th with the gold uh, neon gold red. And it's got a uh, solid brass cap on the back with soldered on with non-lead solder with a solid brass ball inside. So this entire unit is, is solid brass. Guys, there's tons of colors out there of this. The Castmaster comes in a lot of sizes and a lot of colors. And obviously the perch like them and so do all the other fish. Absolutely. So make sure to go to your local retailer and check them out. That's fun. <laughs> oh, there he goes. <laughs> Another Gogebic giant. Guy told us it was going to be a waiting game, and these fish kind of just circle on these mud flats. But once we had one go down, it was game on. Did you ever think we would be in Gogebic? Never. This is a place that I've wanted to come for years to catch these big perch. Now this isn't the biggest perch we've caught of the day, but that's a beautiful fish. Absolutely. If you guys ever have wanted to try this lake, they're here. It's no lie. Yeah, they look like little Godzillas coming up the hole. Oh, this one just hit on the tip down and hammered it. Nice job. Feels like it's got some shoulders on it. Fish coming in here. Hooked up! I, I seen a fish come up on a screen and come blowing up. I set into it. I yelled for Mike to come and give me a hand. And we had a great fish there. Amazing, amazing fish in this lake. Turned in here. <laughs> oh, it's a beautiful male fish. Yeah. What we did is we came out here today and poked around. There's actually a big river channel that comes down here. It drops into this flat on a transition area, and that's where we started this morning. We'll keep working down this flat, chasing these fish this morning. Oof, I mean, they vary from size to size. We've got a couple nice ones, a couple beautiful ones. This is awesome. <laughs> we're running everywhere, and the way you guys fish these is, is totally different than we're used to. I mean, we're setting these things in rod holders and letting the rods do the work. Absolutely, these rods load up, and they're actually hooking the fish for us <laughs> in some cases. 
I mean, they, they'll just take off and bury it. And what we're using is wigglers. They're a mayfly larva. And uh, let's get this baited up. And we'll get a few wigglers on here and kind of show what we're doing here. We're using a variety of spoons, but what we're doing is taking the first wiggler and hooking it through the middle of the shell. Okay. And the second one, we're tail hooking. So they're actually sitting there swimming on the, on the spoon. You want the wigglers moving naturally. So it's important how you hook them. The first one you kill, the second one's tail hook. So he's just, he's fighting to get off of it. And they'll actually move the tips of the rod. So you can actually see, it's kind of like a minnow. They'll, they'll actually move the rod quite a bit. So if they're not alive and good bait, it's tough. I mean, you really have to have live bait. Well, and you guys just out here fishing, totally different world. How many inches of snow do you guys get out here a year? We get from 150 to 250. Wow, so I mean, running around this lake today, we got what, a foot of snow on the lake maybe, with slush and everything like that. When you guys get 100 plus inches, 200 inches of snow, it's almost, you almost have to go out with a guy like you. Yeah, I mean, we're running all really big paddle sleds. I mean, a lot of times I'll come up here, out here on the seashore and there'll be six, seven foot snow drifts. We fight to where we fish. I mean, it's an experience. Half the battle's getting here, right? Right, right. <laughs> Well, this is a lot of fun. Let's get another one. You know, when you come up here and fish Gogebic with Guy and his crew, he's just got an outstanding set of guys that know the lake, get you on and off safe, and just all around have a great time on the ice. Stick with us for more Fish Addictions TV. Hi, I'm Pat Kovash, owner of Kovash Marine. Proud sponsor of Fish Addictions. We're very happy to have Fish Addictions running our new 203 with our 350 Verado. Equipped with the Mercury, Yamaha, or a Suzuki with the Warrior Boat is always a winning combination. Come on in and check out our great service department at Kovash Marine. Whether it's custom rigging, engine rebuilding, or routine maintenance, we can handle it at Kovash Marine. Come check us out at kovachmarine.com or 1417 First Avenue North in Moorhead. And remember, when experience matters, call Kovash Marine. Thirteen fishing, make your own luck. We at Eskimo are just like you, up early to take the morning commute to our favorite fishing hole. We understand your days on the ice, enjoying peacefulness and solitude are limited, and we believe our gear needs to work all the time, which is why we are backing all of our power augers with the first ever five-year warranty. Nobody sells more power ice augers than Eskimo. Get assurance, get reliability, get Eskimo. You know, patience is the key when you're out here on Gogebic and at one point I'd caught a fish and I'm sitting there taking it off and Garrett's sitting right next to me and we doubled up, which is unheard of on this lake. I can tell you come from the Devil's Lake area that these perch there's resemble a, the Devil's Lake. There's a good mark, there's a good mark. There he is. I'm sitting there watching Mike unhook his giant, being a little bit jealous, looked down at my Vexilar and I see that mark coming up. And there he was, wham, set the hook, rod bent over and the fight was on. Like we were saying, these perch are just, oh, another nice one. Look at that. Did you go, <laughs> go <G> big double? <laughs> <laughs> Those are some hogs. We just reeled this one up. This one. Tween. 
<laughs> I want to give you a high five, but I got a double. <laughs> this is so awesome. If you guys were coming or thinking of coming here, there's no better reason than that right there. Go fish with Guy. Go fish with Guy. He'll put you on the fish. <laughs> you know, we met Guy at the St. Paul Ice Show and just chatting with him. He's like, guys, come fish with me, man. It'd just be a lot of fun. Get out of your element. Come out here and just slam some perch. Yeah, baby. <laughs> we got more fish down there, so we're going to get back after it. You know, here on Gogebic, it's just a different type of fishing. We're always used to having that rod in our hand and just jig, 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 you know, a lot of movement. Here, the key is to put that rod in a rod holder and just let it sit and let the bait, the fish come to the bait. These fish are a different creature altogether. So out here on Go Gibbick, we're using wigglers. Now, up in my neck of the woods, we've never used these. Now, explain these a little bit to us. It's mayfly larva. They're actually dug out to mud in rivers and flag, lakes. Flag, oh. I got it. <laughs> Get to it, boys. Not huge, but a nice male. What we have here is a front that's coming in. It really just started to pick up and the snow just started in the last couple of minutes. We've probably had seven or eight perch, a couple of big ones, and then a couple of just nice eater males like this. Lake Ogevic perch, always fun. That hit on a 30 second gold cast master with a bunch of wigglers. And what you do here is you gob the wigglers on a treble hook and just really let it sit still. This one was on a tip down, uh, but you can do it with a tip down. You can do it just a basic dead stick or a real light jig. And, and just catch fish like this, and they're just beautiful fish. I think we're gonna keep this one for fish fry. We're out here fishing with Guy Sibley, and we're on Lake Gogebic, which is a lake I've never fished before. So give us a tip on how you break down a lake before you even get there to be successful. You know, I do a lot of homework right at home on my computer on these lakes. I mean, I'll, I'll pull up uh, creel samples and really break down the lake structurally to find the inside turns and places that I really want to check out and fish before I even get on the water. You know, I think that's a big part of our success is that we do a little bit extra homework at home when you're not trying to fight the elements too. So, Guys, do your homework. If you're visiting a new lake, the things are on the internet, the things are on your Navionics. Do a little homework. Just a tip from Guy Sibley. Stick with us for more Fish Addictions TV. <laughs> that was funny. That was good. Fish Addictions TV is brought to you by Eskimo Ice Fishing Gear. Striker Ice. Go early, go late, go prepared. 13 Fishing, make your own luck. Acme Tackle. And the rest of our fine sponsors. One of the best parts about fishing and traveling and meeting new people is the fact that at one point the weather kicked us off the lake so we kicked it back, cleaned the fish and had a big fish fry and it was great. I have to say the highlight of my trip was uh, getting to uh, bring these fresh perch and walleye back and uh, actually getting to prepare them. We had a nice fish fry, uh, got to hang out, had the wives and the girlfriends over, and uh, really, really had a good time in the evening. That is the fun part about it, getting, getting to know everyone a little bit better, getting to spend time, that quality time, the camaraderie, that's a great part about fishing with these guys. I mean, it, it's a super true experience for all of us. Yeah, you know, you're cooking those fish, and uh, Mike, you know, he said, is that a family recipe? Is it a secret recipe? And I said, uh, well, Mike, uh, it's a secret, and it's gonna remain a secret. Nice try. You know, Matt won't tell us what that secret ingredient is in the fish batter, 
but man, it was good. Mike, it was great. It was great meeting them. Um, it was great fishing with them. The guys are great anglers. It is fun to fish when you have that much talent on the ice. It makes it for great fishing and great TV. Being this was my first time up to Lake Ogiebic, I can for sure tell you that it's not going to be my last. Coming up here, being able to have a legit chance at a two pound fish is something that I want to take part of as often as I can, possibly multiple times a year. Fishing this lake is always going to be fun because it's a different technique than what I'm used to. Fishing this weekend, uh, was we hit it right on the nail on the head. I mean, we even stumbled across, uh, we had a couple doubles in the shacks, which, you know, might happen once every two weeks. Um, that's if we have a, a good angler uh, in the shack. So on uh, hooking fish and landing the fish, it was, it was just an amazing day. We just doubled up in here. The storm's blowing in, it's kicking us out of Michigan. On to the next location, we'll see you on the ice.